Hi again, welcome back. Attorney Steve Vondren here. We are talking in this video about one of my favorite websites, TinEye. Okay, so this is a great tool if you're a photographer looking to find out if somebody is infringing your photos or if you're a brand owner and you have a trademark and you want to see if anybody's misusing your trademark. So this is a really good tool. So let's take a look. Let's go to TinEye.com. And really all you need to do is you can press that button and upload a image. You can enter a URL to the image. Or if you put something on your desktop, you can just go drag it in. And as you'll see really quick, it comes back with results. As you can see here, this has searched over 30 billion images. Um, and it came up with 47,000 results. So if you're a photographer, you can say, well, wow, that's a, my photo is showing up on a lot of websites. And here's one right here. Somebody made a little photo out of that. But um, the neat things you can do here, just as by way of search tools, you can do the best match, and that's usually gonna bring you something that's the best match to this photo. It's gonna be the closest to this photo. And so those are almost like direct matches, as you can see. And um, so that's one way is to get the direct match. It will also show you know, modified photos. It will also show what you have here most changed or what I might refer to as transformative um, and transformative uses can be deemed fair uses if they're transformed into something else so let's go here somebody's got uh, something here let's take a look and what do we got here it's up here on Shutterstock so if you're a photogra photographer you look up basic your basically your site and see um, if this is on a, on a commercial website, if somebody's using your photos commercially. And you can see here somebody has made some sort of um, art or almost looks like a postage stamp of some sort. But, you know, I, I, it's just it's here on Shutterstock, so that may not be something. What, what you're oftentimes looking for as a photographer is if somebody's taking your picture and making products out of it, like bumper stickers or wallpaper or outdoor furniture. I've also seen like, you know, cornhole games that's taking somebody's photo, um, different things like that. So, um, but yeah, so you can just kind of go down, maybe it's on a cover on a book, hard to say. So you just kind of, again, you just got to go down one by one, take a look, see what you're dealing with, see what website you're on. Some of the stuff won't even be up anymore. So that's not even there. But like I said, it's a great tool and, you know, and again, it works also um, with, with logos and I'll show you that in a second. But the other thing is you can show the most recent, this is what I like here, the newest. So, you know, you can come and see what's new, what's newly been posted on another website. And it looks like it was this one, the page was crawled on May 21st, 2017. And this one was on 2018. So you can get to some of these um, websites because under copyright law, generally speaking, you have three years of statute of limitations to bring your claim. So I don't, you know, not to say you couldn't go back. It's, you know, would be probably the date that you discovered the infringement. But nevertheless, you know, I, me personally, I don't like claims that are too old. So at any rate, that's kind of how, how that works. So you got the newest, the oldest. You can go search by the biggest image. Sometimes that's helpful because, you know, if somebody's using a bigger image, that may indicate they're using you like on a header or something that they really want to grab attention to. So you can kind of scroll down and you, you can look here for your commercial websites. This is Reddit. That's a social media site. Uh, but, you know, if you found like, you know, an Amazon store, an Etsy or an eBay store, you know, you may you may be on to something. So um, but yeah, as you can see, you can go and you can find that there's a photo. And you can see it's a nice big photo if it comes back up there. So it's a nice big photo. So, you know, that may indicate somebody's really using your photo to try to grab attention. And if they're monetizing their site with ads and you know, we've even seen photos being used in YouTube channels and things like that. So that's kind of how this works. It's a pretty cool thing. By the way, the Mona Lisa, because it's so old, this is in the public domain. That means anybody can use it. So um, you, you can see these on T-shirts and things like that. And people can do that because it's in the public domain. So real quick, I'll just show you real quick. The other way, like I said, if you're a brand owner, you want to check and see if anyone's misusing your trademark or if it's out there. 
this is my uh, tra my logo. Um, you can see not too many people out there using it, so that's good. I like that. I don't want to see my trademark slapped down, slapped out around there unless it's, you know, by my, you know, something that I know about. So at any rate, that's a quick look at Ten Eye. If you find, if you're a photographer and you find yourself being infringed and it looks like commercial and somebody's, especially if somebody's making commercial products out of your photos and things like that, uh, give us a call. We have a contingency fee recovery program that we think is really good and uh, we're happy to talk to you about your case and help you recover where you're being wrongfully infringed by somebody that's taking your photos. Okay, Attorney Steve out. I got to run. Have a great day. We'll chat again. This is general legal information only and not legal advice.